friends, and welcome to our final episode for this series of Friday Night Drinks. My name is Ashley McPherson. Tonight we ask the question, what do James Dean, Audrey Hepburn and Grace Kelly all have in common? The answer being, they were all icons of their era. And incidentally, as tonight is the icons episode of Friday Night Drinks, you can pretty much guarantee that they will also be the answers to at least 20 questions. <laughs> Joining me tonight and uh, writing down those names feverishly in my peripheral vision, we have our team captains, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott once again. Now, Steph pipped at the post by one point for two weeks in a row. What, what do we do? What's the strategy tonight? To, uh, we want to win. I would be very <laughs> upset if I left this season without the glory. I feel like I, I, I want to say it's in the bag. I'm quietly confident. He's very good. I, I, it's going to be fine. Absol it's going to be fine. Absolutely. We'll meet your guest in just a moment. Let's meet your opposition. Now, Joey, you've dressed up for the occasion. I've never seen you in a collar. Mate, this is actually the, uh, the real Joey Philpot tonight. And um, the, oh, the one in the past has been a bit of a sham. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually quite an intelligent man and I've come to prove it tonight for the final episode. <laughs> As opposed to the non-intelligent man we've seen for the first few episodes. That's quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet the teammates. On Team Green, we have Josh Sillick. On Team Red, we have Alice Corkle. Now, Josh, I put to you, if you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be and why? James Dean's pretty hot. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm That's not gay, but yeah, I could swing that way. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I thought he was going to say Jesus. Really. It, it looks kind of like me, so Jesus. Jesus was like pretty hot as well. Like all the people in history, that I'd is. like to have a good chat with him. And he no, does, he does he's look being good an icon for his yeah. era. But for their sex appeal, maybe James Dean might have a, might have a bit of a trump yeah, on Jesus. Yeah, Who true. knows? <laughs> now, Alice, <laughs> if you could have dinner with any historical figure, what would you order from the menu? Depending on what time uh, period it would be at, because if I, um, going back further, maybe I would have something fancier, like a peacock that's been stuffed with other birds. <laughs> <laughs> a peacock? It sounds like a turducken. Yes. One of those things. We're going to meet the, uh, well, just as important as what you're eating is what you are drinking. And tonight, our bar staff for the last time, Matthew and Veronica, what have you got for us for drinks tonight? Tonight, I have something very, very special that Veronica will be taking out to you right now. We very have pink. a pink lemonade with vodka, with sugar frosted around the top of the glass, a beautiful garnished strawberry, and of course, extra vodka for my fellow teammates. Sounds iconic. It's called the Marilyn Monroe, my oh, friend. Oh, of course the it Marilyn is. Marilyn Monroe. And it's got fruit in it, so it's good for you. Right, well, thank you, well, thank you once exactly. again. <laughs> so you can have as much as you like. Five servings a day, but drink responsibly. Thank you once again. Okay, now it is time for us to move on to some questions. Don't forget to check out our YouTube page if you want to see that drink made. Is everyone ready to uh, buzz in? Basic questions and answers to begin with. You've got a light on your glass, that's pretty groovy. Here we go. Name the actress known for the iconic image of standing over a subway grate that blows. Ooh, that uh, oh, that really? was the Reds. I believe that was uh, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. It like certainly was. Oh, she really. She, there we go. She really will come up a bit tonight. <laughs> Name the singer known for making sure all of his dancers were in perfect sync during his music videos. That was the bar staff. Was it Michael Jackson? It certainly was. And if you look at all of them, particularly in Thriller, when they all jump at the same time, you can. it's amazing. You can draw a line under them. Yeah. Which teenage cultural icon was known for his most celebrated film, Rebel Without a Cause? <laughs> It's, it's got to be you guys, yes? James Boy, Dean. Man. Oh, yes, you're you, you mate. You're close mate. <laughs> Which film did Judy Garland win a Golden Globe for? Mmm, Buzz. Uh, Wizard of Oz? It wasn't The Wizard of Oz. Oh, uh, it was for the Best Actress, Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy. Does anyone else want to uh, crack? Uh, Red. Meet Me in St. Louis? Not Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh. A nice, nice guest. Do the Greens want to have a crack? A crack. A, a crack, crack even. I would like a crack. Yeah, <laughs> He doesn't want to have a crack. I, I should know this. Can you repeat the question one more time, please, Ashley McPherson? Judy Garland won a Golden Globe for which movie? For Best Actress. I forgot what it's called. I'm going I'm to kick myself two, when you one. tell me the answer. It's A Star Is Born. Wow. Unfortunately, let's see the kick. There we go. All right. Name the actor who played Alfred Hitchcock in the 2012 Greens. You gonna ask me before you buzz? Mid swig. <laughs> I just assumed you knew this. No. No. Really? No, I don't know. No, it wasn't James Dean. The Reds are gonna have another shot. Anthony Hopkins. It was Sir Anthony Hopkins indeed. I Very good. That. Everyone's I just got you to be on able the able board. To know. Let's move on to odd one out. Pretty self-explanatory. Tell me who is the odd one out out of the following? Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain, Michael Jackson. 
You haven't heard them all yet, but go on. Michael Jackson, I'm going to say, because he didn't die when he was 27. You are absolutely right. He's not part of the tw uh, the infamous 27 club. Amy Winehouse was going to be the other one for the Nostradamus Veronica over there. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin, Shirley Temple, Judy Garland and Betty Davis. Greens. I'm going to go with Betty Davis. Davis. Yeah. It's not Betty Davis. Does anyone want to give a crack? Ooh, dear, the Reds. Uh, um... What was the second option there? Yeah. Charlie Chaplin, Shirley Temple and uh, Judy Garland are the three left. Shirley Temple. Shirley. We'll go Shirley. Not Shirley. Okay, guys. It's down to two. Charlie I'm, or Judy? I'm going to say Charlie Chaplin because he was in the silent film. Uh, it's actually Judy Garland. She was the only one who did not make it into her 80s. Mm. But uh, I like what you're all thinking. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Girl Happy. Kissing Cousins. Yes? Elvis Presley. Um, who's the odd one out? <laughs> um, girl Happy, Kissing Cousins or Grandma's uh, Casserole. So unfortunately Elvis wasn't one of those options. Reds. Um, I'm guessing it's probably to do with which one's not a remake of... I don't know. Uh, which one do you want to go? I forgot the names again. Girl Happy, Kissing Cousins or Grandma's Casserole. Uh, girl Happy. Uh, no, unfortunately, we'll have to close the bidding there. The answer is Grandma's Casserole. It's the only one that's not an Elvis album. So you did have the smarts there, Veronica. Unfortunately, got a, got a bit too ahead of yourself, unfortunately. Damn. So, who am I is the next round. I'm going to ask a question. The more time you need, the fewer points that you get. Here we go. For eight points, I would tell you my real name, but even that now is too well known. It'd be a giveaway. For six points, I guess you could say I have had my finger in politics. That's a bit disgusting. <laughs> Bar staff. Is it Marilyn Monroe? It is Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she's coming up even more so than the names I said at the start. I'm just going to drink That's her. it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just drink her. Okay, we'll have one more. Who am I? For eight points, I was born on Christmas Day in New York City. Very interesting fact. Mm. For six points, in 1999, I was ranked the greatest male star in the history of American cinema. For four points, I was the founding member of the original Rat Pack. Yes, bar stuff. It's not Frank Sinatra, is it? Not Sinatra. Oh. No, the ori not the uh, the original Rat Pack. I can't give it to you, Veronica. Unfortunately, your teammate blew it for you. What's his name? For two points, if you haven't figured out who I am yet, you will regret it. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But soon, and for the rest of your life. Oh gosh. That was a quote, and I, I can't know. do his accent. Mm. We know this. Mm, you know this. Mm. We know this. You think of Casablanca, Boston. someone. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh gosh! God, God, oh, it's not, it's not God. I've been there. I've seen the movie. Oh, I Humphrey know. Bogart. Yes, Humphrey Bogart. You. Correct. Two points for the Greenies at oh, the death. Hey. A quick well score yeah, recap. We have the Greens on three, the Reds are on two, and the Bar staff in the lead at the moment on eight points. No. Doing well over there. Yeah. Not just serving the drinks, but also showing everybody else up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. First, a quick question to you guys: Who is known as the king of rock and roll? If you don't get that, I will come out of the screen and I will actually hit you. Come back soon. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, one and all. Before we left, I asked you, who was the king of rock and roll? Let's hope that you screamed out Elvis Presley at your TV, or at least uh, said it at a more reasonable volume, because that is the correct answer. Now, let's check the scores. The red team are on two points, the green team are on three, the bar team are well ahead at the moment on eight points. At this point, I think it's important that I should let you know that we have been tallying up the results of who won every episode. This is the last episode of the season, and so at the end of the show, we are going to crown the ultimate champion. Oh Mm, for the team that has won the most episodes this season. No pressure, but tonight's result will have a bearing on the outcome. So, have fun. No pressure. <laughs> who tweeted that is the next game. I bring up tweets by celebrities who are, who are well known as being icons, and uh, you guys have to, have to try and guess who the tweeter is. It's obviously not that aged, given that Twitter is a relatively new... Well, they consider icons at the moment, I suppose. Okay. I, don't, I don't think Marilyn Monroe had her smartphone out and was <laughs> tweeting. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, the first one. Who tweeted this? Introducing the new at MySpace, http colon slash slash myspace.com slash check us out. Hashtag new MySpace. Justin mm. Timberlake? That was Justin Timberlake. Very, very good. What? Well on the money. Okay. That's up to you, my dear. Who tweeted the next one? 
You see what happens when they cancel intervention. Greens? So these are just celebrities. I will tell you this was in reference to refer, referring to Amanda Bynes. Okay. What's her dad's Have name? Have a crack. <laughs> What's her dad's name? When in doubt, choose Marilyn Monroe. When in doubt, choose Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Bynes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Rihanna was actually the name. Rihanna was the name that we were after there. Who tweeted this? My music collection could best be described as eighth grade dance. A bit out of left field. No one wants to have a crack at that one. Oh, yes, bar stuff. Will Ferrell. Not Will Ferrell. That was actually YouTube sensation Grace, uh, Grace Helbig. Grace Helbig there. Here's one that is a bit more well known. <laughs> I am grateful to have had the opportunity to work with two amazing women who are people I admire, such as Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. Love XO. Tina Fey. Love Tina Fey. I just buzzed because I love Tina Fey. <laughs> I can't um, get your points for that, I'm afraid. Who's worked with... Uh, OK, so maybe at 30 Rock. Alec Baldwin? Yeah, let's go with Alec Baldwin. Not Alec Baldwin. If he's putting XO at the end of his messages, I'd be a little bit, uh, I'd be a little bit confused. There's more surprising <laughs> things that he has done. Very <laughs> true. Nobody. That was Lindsay Lohan. Uh, Lindsay Lohan. Um, mean Girls. Mean Girls would have been the answer there. Is it wrong that sometimes when people call me, I break out into telephone, my mum always does Beyonce's part? Bar stuff. Is it Lady Gaga? It is indeed Lady Gaga. Very, very so good. Lovely. We're going to move... <laughs> what was that? So I was going to say Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel Richie. OK, not James Dean. That's it for who tweeted that for this week. This brings us to our next game, Just Two Seconds. You will hear Just Two Seconds, as the title suggests, of a song. Tell me the name of the song. Here's the first one. Oh, Green's quick off the mark, yes. That's Abba. Yeah. It is indeed. And that was... No, resist, yeah. No, resist, something. Mm. I'm just going to, I don't know, SOS, but it's not that. It's not SOS, you're right. Who got in there next? I think it was Reds. the Reds. Reds. It was the Reds. It's Mamma Mia. Uh, Mamma Mia, sure. indeed. Well done there, Alice. Here's number two. <laughs> yeah. Where's number two? <laughs> oh, that was the bar start that time, yes. Lady Gaga. Lady and Gaga. It was just dance. Poker face. Poker face. Poker face. I, I will give you that one uh, because he he jumped in there and um and because I I like them. They're nice guys. Here's the next one. Greens. Boy George. <laughs> Um, I'm not correct, <laughs> unless he covered it, but does anyone else want to have a go? Can we just get that one more time, uh, thanks there, Ash. Oh, you may indeed. Thanks there, Matt. Oh, I do know this. You have buzzed yourself out of that one, Ms. Everson Williams, with a V, Everson. No one. Mm. That was Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Iconic indeed. Here's another one. Hopefully you know this one. On sale again. Ooh, Reds. Life, it's Life on Mars, David Bowie. It's Life on Mars, David Bowie. Well done with the Reds making a play for it. Here's another one. If you don't get this, I will hit you. If you run my future. Greens. Greens. <laughs> Greens. <laughs> Spice Girls want to be. Very good. Very good. I'll have to take out my... Never mind. <laughs> next, next one. <laughs> that was the Reds. Oh, uh, oh, I know this one. Oh, the tip of the tongue. Uh, Son of a preacher? No, 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 no. no, no, no it was no, Madonna. No. It was Madonna, it was and it Madonna. was three seconds. Um, and then a catwalk model. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. Vogue. Vogue. Oh, Vogue. Oh, she got it. She got it at the end. Oh, she got yes. it at the last gasp. It was Vogue. Oh, it's tense, isn't it? <laughs> Since finding out about this ultimate champion thing. Here's the next one. Fast off. <clears throat> Careless whisper by Wham. Careless whisper. No. George Michael. George Michael. Yes. Okay, I'll give you that. You obviously knew which one it was. Last, uh, just two seconds. Here we go. Wait. <laughs> Bar stuff. Candle in the Wind Candle by the wind. Elton John. When in doubt, go with the Marilyn Monroe way of thinking. <laughs> Very good. OK, it's time for uh, finish the dot, 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 finish the lyric, finish the quote. I'm going to start talking. When I stop, I want you to finish the phrase. Fingers on buzzers because it might be a quick one here. First one. It is. Ah! What was that? <laughs> she hit it so hard she actually hurt herself. <laughs> E.T. Phone home. Correct, from the E.T. film. We're going to have uh, one more before we go to, an, uh, to a break.
Frankly, my dear, ah! I'll buy stuff. I don't give a damn. You uh, yes. don't give a damn what the answer is, correct. So, let's have a look at what the scores are. Oh the greens God. and the reds are uh, fully tied, fully on on five points each, and the bar staff are on 14. But, you know, it could still be anyone's game, and certainly the trophy could be anyone's, so stick around. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. such a It's getting tense in the Friday Night Drinks Arena. It's the grand final. We've just had a spillage there just moments ago. The greens and the reds, luckily the buzzer still works, I hope. The greens and the reds are neck and neck on five points, but the bar team are well out in front on 14 at the moment. However, it's, everyone is still very much in it. Let's get into our true or false round. Everyone ready? Good. Mm -hmm. True or false? Audrey Hepburn adopted the pseudonym Eden van Heemstra after the Germans invaded the Netherlands, her home, in 1940. That was the Reds that got in there first, yes. We'll go, I would, uh, I would think they would be the other way around rather than her, her name being... I don't know, it's... Fixed. Exactly my thought process, Alice. Uh, we'll go false. <laughs> false. False. Uh, the, uh, the real Joey got it wrong. It's true. She adopted that name because an English-sounding name was considered dangerous during that period. Oh, okay. mm. I like your way of thinking, though. American actor John Wayne acted in a total of 180 films. Um, who was that one? That was the uh, Greens. False. Uh, false, he was involved in 184. Yes, so yes. Well, well done. <laughs> Luckily you know all of, all of John, Lee's, John Wayne's films. I'm sure you can name them all. True or false, Bruce Lee's family referred to him as the girl name Siphon or Little Phoenix. Greens? That's true, I believe. I believe so. It is indeed true yeah. because they believe the evil spirits did not approve of boys in the family, so they used that nickname to confuse the spirits. Ah. Oh, Interesting theory. Consider them confused. <laughs> I'm confused. True or false? <laughs> Musician and singer John Lennon formed a group qual called the Quarry Men. Reds? True. He did, and uh, they consisted of Lenin Lennon's school friends. They certainly did. Mm. True or false? Actress Lucille Ball auditioned for Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. Greens? True. Yes, she did. I was actually mm. going to say she auditioned wearing nothing but a long sweater because uh, yeah, she got caught in a rainstorm on the way there and she borrowed one from an assistant. <laughs> True or false? Betty Davis was the first to secure 10 Academy Award uh, nominations. Bar staff? <clears throat> she two. certainly was. Since then, Meryl Streep has surpassed that with 17. OK, we're going to move on to the lightning round now. So, everyone, <laughs> hope you have reflexes like lightning for the questions which come fast like lightning. Here we go. Which ex-talk show host is ranked the richest African American? Uh, that was That was Oprah indeed. Name the actor that paired up with Jerry Lewis in the 50s. That was the Greens. Um, what's his name? Dean Martin. Dean Martin is correct. Next one. Who is the singer responsible for Vogue? Uh, Madonna. Reds. Madonna indeed. Very, very good. Barbara Streisand debuted her film career in which, which romantic musical? Reds again. Uh, was it Funny Girl? It was Funny Girl. Very good. Oh, Alice right. at the finish line. Done. In which year was John F. Kennedy assassinated? Bar staff. 1963. 1963 is correct. Which oh. song was the Bee Gees' first chart success in Australia? Bar staff again. Spicks and Specs. It was Spicks and Specs. Very good for Ronnie. Bar staff. My goodness. I don't believe that knowing the answers is, uh, <laughs> is a part of the definition of cheating. Drink your drink. <laughs> Smells like Teen Spirit is sung by who? Greens. Nirvana. Nirvana, correct. Which Jamaican singer songwriter is best known for his <laughs> reggae music? Greens. <laughs> Bob Marley. Wow. Yes, correct. I also would have accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Which Broadway star skyrocketed his. <laughs> Reds? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, ah, I know this. I can't. Think of his name though. What do you mean? <laughs> which Broadway star? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the which Broadway star skyrocketed his Hollywood career in The Grapes of Wrath. In the Grapes uh, of Wrath. Can't think of it. Can't think of it. Does anyone else want to have a go? The Grapes of Wrath. Gene look something. <laughs> no, no, Henry Fonda. Henry oh, Fonda, unfortunately. That's what I was about to say. Gene Kelly is most known for his performance in which comedy musical film? That was the Greens that time. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Gene, uh, what was it called? 
Oh, OK, this no, is the no, final no, no, question. No, 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 no. Not fruitless. Not OK, who was next? Rings. It was the Reds. Was it It's a Wonderful Life? Not It's a Wonderful Life. You're probably um, thinking of Jimmy Stewart there. Does oh, anyone God. else want to crack the bar stuff? I know, but I don't remember the name. Gene Kelly was in Singing in the Rain. Oh. Oh, I really hope that didn't uh, decide the winner. Oh, it didn't in the end. Look at that. The, the bar staff have won three in a row at the finish line. They're on 17 points. The Greens are on 12 and the red team have finished on eight points. Well done, everyone. So that's, that's the final episode. Great work by all. I will reveal the winner in just a moment. First of all, uh, Joey, how was the final episode? We've seen the, the real you and uh, yes. what does the real Joey want to say at the end of, uh, at the, end of the run? Look, Ashley, uh, when it comes to the end, it's not about winning or losing. It's just all about <laughs> having a really good time. No, that's something I've achieved on this show. Is, that something, that, is that something that losers say? <laughs> oh, no, I'm I don't sorry. see this losing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alice, have you had fun? Yeah, I, I did. Excellent. It was great to get you to come along for the last episode. Steph, how are you feeling? Yes, good. I agree with Joey. It's, it's not about winning or losing. It's about the journey, but the journey for us is hopefully to a place of winning. So, um, <laughs> that'd be great. It does come back to winning. Let's no, find out who better. the overall winner is. Oh, it's a tie. Look at that. So, the Reds were on three, three episodes and the, t the Greens and the Bar staff with their final three wins got them onto four. So, oh. I'm going to have to uh, come up with a tiebreaker question. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the first to buzz in with the correct time. answer, oh, and just back. to clarify, just to clarify, if you get the wrong oh, answer, you are you are welcome to guess again <laughs> this time. So it's not sudden death this time. Okay. 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 Who am I? This is for the victory. Okay. Born in Melbourne, I am a graduate of the University of Melbourne. Um, Jeffrey Rush. Um, not Jeffrey Rush. Okay. You are welcome to try again. Thank you. My performing life began to flourish when I discovered amateur theatre and played a rabbit in the Australian Shakespeare Company's production of Alice in Wonderland. God! <laughs> Dennis uh, Manahan! Not quite. I love the way I you think, keep guessing. Here we go. Out of this one. We get the next, we get the next question. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an open table. Here we go. I am known for my tall, thin figure and my love of physical slapstick. However, in my most recent project, I do seem to do nothing but sitting on my ass. And finally, I am best known for regularly sticking my finger in my ear, wearing the same green shirt over and over again, and eating lots of tuna in the dressing room. Stephanie Everson Williams. I don't know. <laughs> it is not Stephanie uh, Everson Williams. Uh, Ashley McPherson. <laughs> Correct. Is it, Joey, Correct. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I really need to tell you more about. You guys know nothing about me. I feel okay. <laughs> but. But you did get it at the end. Well done. But uh, no, oh, Josh, so Alice, where were you on those ones? I'm sure you should have known. But I mean, the <laughs> ultimate Friday night drinks trophy goes to you. You can sort of stick that and put that on your mantelpiece. No, I think that we're, we all, everyone's a winner. I'm just more a winner than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, everyone's a winner. That's something that winners say. I want to give a big thank you once again to our guests this week, uh, Alice Corkill and, and Josh Stillick, who uh, were surrounded by a lot of in-jokes tonight, but you were, you were good fun to really, uh, to really put up with that. How about Matthew and Veronica on the bar? They're mixing us drinks every week. And also... It's been a pleasure, guys. Having the guts to give yourself a standing ovation as well. well <laughs> although, to be fair, you probably don't have a chair. How have you guys enjoyed it, Matt and Veronica? Pardon. How have you enjoyed it? I've enjoyed it very much. It's been fun getting to know everyone. Definitely. M mixing the drinks, um, having chats with you guys, uh, watching some amazing intellectuals uh, answer some amazing questions and look all out. What can I say? Let's he all can, have shots. You can say that because you vodka tonight. in the mouth. <laughs> uh, drink responsibly though. How about a hand as well uh, from home from our, for our team captain Stephanie Everson Williams and Joey Philpot. Yeah. Thank Yay, you very, very Joey. much. Please don't forget to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Friday Night Drinks. Tweet us on tw uh, FND underscore TV. Visit our YouTube page to relive all of the drinks that Matthew and Veronica have made. My name's Ashley McPherson. I'll see you for drinks sometime in the future, hopefully. Facebook me. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't you have. laughs>